We made it. But I think it's actually worth coming up to the tombs, if not for the tombs, but actually for the view. I don't know how far up we are. Probably like 300 steps. <laughs> wow. There's an urn on top of this one too. <laughs> Okay, we got our guide dogs. How are guide dogs? We are ready. Today, we are in the wonderful ancient city of Petra. Mm -hmm. One of the seven wonders of the world, and we are really excited. We're so excited. We just walked through the main gates, and we are going to make our way to uh, toward the treasury, which is the big iconic spot. Yeah. What many people don't know is that Petra is actually a large city rather than just the single treasury which is I think what probably represents mm -hmm. most of the photos on the internet of what Petra is. <laughs> yeah, it's apparently a ginormous city. You need like 10 days to go through yeah. it all. Wow, hey. Look at this. Right now we're walking through the Sikh area which is kind of the gorge that leads right up to the treasury. Hey, you doing well? I like how they're in like line to like get a pet. The other guys <laughs> behind <laughs> the second dog's really waiting patiently. Made it to the treasury and it's every bit as stunning as you would expect it to be. They call it treasury because there's a local Bedouin legend that says a pharaoh hid some treasure at the urn at the top of the facade and you could actually see bullet holes of people trying to shoot down the facade and maybe try to get at the treasure. In reality it's actually more of a mausoleum or a tomb so I don't think there's any treasure in there but it hasn't stopped people from trying to raid the tomb. That's, that wasn't a plug for tomb raiders because this is more of an Indiana Jones kind of place. It's incredible because it was carved into one, like one slab. I think that's what's remarkable about it, is it's not like multiple pieces that have been brought together and built here. It's carved into the side of the hill. Or gorge? Mountain? What is, I don't know what you call this. <laughs> it's really, really impressive. So in addition to the treasury being gorgeous, um, it is also packed with people trying to sell you things, <laughs> like camel rides, and picture books and hikes up to uh, viewpoints. It's a little overwhelming because you like just kind of get to the treasury and you really want to see the space. And there's all these people trying to sell you all this stuff. Don't ride the camels. Don't ride the camels. They're not in great shape. That's a camel. He sounds like he's growling. I think he's very unhappy. You know, it never fails wherever we are in the world. We somehow always gather a pack of dogs around us. I don't know what it is. But today, they're crowding around a cult. We've seen a lot of theaters, and they've... It's true. We've seen, we've seen a lot of theaters very recently. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they've all been, like, been built handmade. Well... Handmade. Yeah. Built Actually. from the ground up. <laughs> <laughs> this is built from the... Ground in? From the wall out. <laughs> so no, this, wall in, I think. A wall in, I yeah. guess. It's the only theater in the world that was carved into the rock. Oh, there's the doggies. Look at this landscape, hey? It's so desolate. Desolate and desert-like. Especially with the sun out, you could really see how red everything is to this morning. Oh, uh, that's a good point. I don't know what this is. Like, it's so grand, but I can't find it on the map. Who knows? Let's go look. Found the royal tombs. They're glorious. And they're made up of such beautiful colors, like the stone that's been carved away is like red and kind of silvery. It's really beautiful. I can hear my voice echoing from out here. Let's go inside.
Holy. This place is massive. And it's oddly squarely cut. The walls have very sharp corners to the roof and to the ground and to each other. It feels like we're in like a box. Like a very tomb-like box. So these tombs are actually quite a bit away from the main path that we were just on, but I think it's actually worth coming up to the tombs, if not for the tombs, but actually for the view, because you actually can look down far into the valley and see where the main path goes and you can see like the theater that we were just at and also like some other kind of caves further down the main path. This is, it's really nice. We're walking along, what was at one point, the main street in Petra. Would have been shops, all sorts of fun stuff to look at, lots of trading, frankincense and myrrh were traded here. Just sounds neat. <laughs> but it was destroyed, of course, by an earthquake. Those earthquakes, man. Some serious damage to history. Hello. Oh, hey. hey guys. You guys are back. What are you doing? You've been exploring? You want to come check out the Great Temple with us? I'm okay. We'll go see the Great Temple. These dogs are so cute. We've lost them, and then they we've found them and reunited with them so many times already. Let's go, let's go. Not great guide dogs, they just kind of keep ditching us. What do you think, guys? The Great Palace is pretty cool, but there's not much left of it. Just a few columns. <laughs> I can see that it was once great. <laughs> <laughs> In case you've ever wanted to know what a cave garage looks like. There you go. There are the stairs. There are something like 850 stairs to take to get to the monastery. We were like, oh, we'll get there nice and early. And so it's not so warm, but it's almost 10 a.m. It's hot. <laughs> Passing people who want to try to sell us a, a ride up with like a donkey and stuff. And every time you talk to them, the amount of steps that uh, they say there are to get from here to the monastery keeps going up and up. <laughs> so it started with like 850 steps to the monastery, and then the next guy with the donkey would say it's 900, and then the next guy would say it's a thousand steps. So we're not really sure. We're getting a bit more and more, more and more desperate to get you on that donkey. I don't know how far up we are. Probably like 300 steps. <laughs> this is tricky. Although it is stunning. But we're getting tired. <laughs> I know. We're taking guesses as to how far along we are. What's your guess, hun? The optimist says 90%. The realist says 60%. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Amazing. Like, you'd come just for this. I feel like if, if the city didn't exist, but these landscapes did, I'd come first for that. It's like a two for one. so bad. <laughs> I think we were pretty close to my guess earlier. I think we were 70% of the way. Not way up to 70. Let's go up to 75. <laughs> wow. There's an urn on top of this one too. <laughs> wow, so this one's massive. I read that, I read this one is like 47 meters high, but the first one that we saw in uh, the treasury is 
closer to 40 or 30. So this one is the, I guess, one of the largest like constructed, um, I guess, buildings here in Petra. So definitely, I think it's definitely worth the walk up here. She huge. She huge. She huge. <laughs> wow. Monastery. We gotta read about her. I don't know anything about her. Let's learn. A handy dandy nap. Because there's no self reception here. I love to go to places and like do more research when we get there and learn about the things I'm looking at in the moment if there's no signs. Um, yeah, you can't do that here. You can't do that here. So come with your knowledge or find a map <laughs> along the way. Okay, Ad Dyer Monastery, one of the largest monuments in Petra, measures 47 meters wide and 48 meters high. Space was used as a, ready for this? Biclinium. <laughs> Biclinium. What on earth is that? I don't know what that is. Anyways, it was used as a Biclinium for the meetings of religious associations. What about the treasure? The treasure! Where's the treasure? I don't know, the map doesn't say. You have to shoot it down, hun. <laughs> That's the monastery. Not a bad place for a rest stop, eh? Great place to have a quick snack. I think I'm pretty excited for that walk back because all the nice views were right behind us. Yeah. And it was tough because you want to try to get to the monastery in good time, but every time you turn around, you just got an awesome, awesome view of the valley below. <laughs> <laughs> My God, not this again. <laughs> Coffees. I just threw mine out, but yeah, we had coffee. Nicole threw her a coffee out because <laughs> it was a very good. <laughs> so gross. We got guide dogs. Oh, guys, how are you going? What's going on? Okay, maybe we don't have guide dogs. A few different ways. Yes. And a few, and we're gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> Walking in through these winding, this winding gorge, we'll eventually come up to some something. <laughs> more colorful. Very, very much more colorful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very much more. Very much more. Very much more. <laughs> very, su very super more. 